assessment and evaluation. So the topic that has been given to me is teaching techniques. So all of us are teachers in fact. So you are teaching at some different places, I'm teaching at different place. I mean, you might teach at different level, I might teach at different level, but there is one thing common between me and you that, that we all are teachers and definitely in order to teach, we use some teaching techniques. So my whole lecture will be focused on those teaching techniques. There are, I think, nine to 10 slides in my presentation. So it is 11, seven by my watch. So I think every slide will be taken uh, six to uh, seven minutes. So comfortably by 11, 22, I will finish. Uh, so the remaining time definitely we will utilize in discussion or if you want to ask any question or any clarity or the doubt or anything, I mean, we can utilize the remaining time. So let's begin my So I will begin with one question that's very basic and I'm quite sure you all are teachers, so you'll be able to answer my question. My question is, what's the difference between teaching and learning? Let me repeat. My question is, what is the difference between teaching and learning? My friends, please respond. Sir, teaching is perhaps one dimensional, whereas learning is not. Who are you, ma'am? Uh, sir, Zakia Kalam. I'm from West Bengal. What do you teach, ma'am? Sir, English is my subject. English, English, okay. Any other opinion? Sir, uh, learning is a change in uh, our behavior, whereas teaching actually shows how to implement this change. Right, right. Who are you, ma'am? Uh, Dr. Monali Chatterjee. Uh, I teach English literature. Okay. In okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, any third opinion? My friends, any third opinion? What is the difference between teaching and learning? Sir, teaching we hum padhate hai, theek hai. Aur learning we hum seekhte hai. Ki seekha kaise jata hai. Okay, okay. Aap kaun kaun hai, ma'am? Ma'am, Doctor Archana. Archana, ma'am, kya padhati hai? Hindi. Hindi. Okay, okay. So please mute yourself. So I have got three opinions, and partially all of them are right. See, there is one major difference between teaching and learning. We define education as a bipolar process. Education has two ends. So like this, if you see, this is one end and this is the second end. So at the one end, it is the teacher. And at the second end, it is the learner. So remember, in the process of education, whatever the efforts are made by the teachers, that come under the category of teaching. So you're lecturing, you're asking questions, you're giving answer to your questions, you're writing something on the board, you're dictating the notes, uh, I mean, uh, you're organizing brainstorming session, I mean, so many things. Whatever the efforts you made on your part, that comes under the category of teaching. But whatever the efforts are made by the learners at their end, that comes under the category of learning. So that comes under the category of learning. And remember that in your time, in my time, when you were a student, I was a student, there were only two sources of knowledge. So one source of knowledge was the teacher himself or herself. And the source were the books in the library. Hardly there were third, fourth, fifth source. So in your time, in my time, teaching was more important. But in this era in which we are living, our students have the exposure to plenty of sources of knowledge. So in fact, in this era, learning is much more important than the teaching. So this is one thing that I wanted to clarify. Second point, there are three terms, tuition, coaching, and classroom teaching. What is the difference among these three? Let me repeat. What is the difference among tuition, coaching, and classroom teaching? Your response, my friends. 
My friends, please respond. Uh, the tuition is for uh, remedial yeah. teaching, wherein uh, we give uh, whatever is the weak area of the student is addressed. Whereas coaching is uh, more to do with what uh, some short term achievement or goal. So usually that, this kind of coaching is directed towards any kind of competitive exam. Whereas uh, classroom teaching is uh, has to be both uh, content centered as well as goal centered as well as student centered. So um, we have to address all the three um, aspects while teaching. Right, right. Thank you. Any other, any other opinion? Any other opinion, my friends? My friends, please respond. Shikshak or Vidyarthi ka hota hai. Ji. coaching center mein, जैसा कि मैम ने कहा कि कम समय में किसी चीज को प्राप्त करने के लिए विद्यार्थी बैठता है तो वह संबंध विद्यार्थी और शिक्षक जैसा नहीं रह जाता है आप कौन सर हैं सर क्या नाम है आपका सर मैं डॉक्टर रवीश कुमार सिंह आरडी एंड डीजे कॉलेज मुंगेर से हूं सर अच्छा क्या पढ़ाते हैं रवीश जी हिंदी पढ़ाता हूं सर ठीक who is very really good in English, very good in uh, social studies, very good in economics, other subjects, but yeah. in mathematics. Yeah. So what you do, you arrange coaching classes for him or her, uh, for, you arrange tuition classes for him or her in that particular. Ravish, sir, I'm saying that? Yes, sir. So try to understand. Tuition is... Yeah, sir. Limited. Tuition is remedial in nature. That is, first you try to yeah. find out the weaknesses of the students and yeah. according to the needful so that that weakness might be removed. So tuition is yeah. a remedial. Whereas, coaching is to teach a group of homogeneous students. How homogeneous? They all have paid 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees. They all have same aim, that is to qualify for me, to qualify for IIT or something like that. And by and large, their mental level is also same. Definitely some variation is there, definitely, but by and large, their mental level is also same. So tuition is remedial in nature, and coaching is to teach the homogeneous student. But my friends, classroom teaching will never be either remedial, nor it will be uh, to teach a homo group of homogeneous students. Heterogeneity will be there in the classroom. So there might be one student who has seen university first time in his family. I mean, I mean, uh, he is the first generation learner. Simultaneously, there might be one student who might be the tenth generation learner. There might be some learners who are deep learners. There might be some learners who are surface learners. There might be some learners who are very casual in approach. There might be some learners who are very serious for myself, you know. So classroom teaching definitely is to teach a group of heterogeneous students. That's why, in my opinion, tuition and coaching definitely are easy to teach, but classroom teaching is more difficult. So with these two basic concepts in your mind, let's begin the session. And I'm coming to this slide. So can you see this slide? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can anyone of you please read the slide? Koi aapne se? So may I? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, first one says factors. Basically, it's about factors affecting lecture, which are academic mm. ability of student. Uh, resources mm. available, teaching skills and attitude, mm. then uh, constructivist mm. approach, university culture. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you, ma'am? Sir, I'm Richa from NSNPG College, Lucknow, Department of English. Richa. Uh, uh, Richa. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, yes, thank you. So, Richa, ma'am, very good. She really has read uh, factor, factors affecting uh, lecture. And she has started from academic ability of the student. But I would prefer to start from university culture. Now see, my friends, 
you me and everyone at higher education level definitely in order to teach we use lecture method and simply we have no option except lecture why because we have limited resources in the classroom we have huge number of students in the classroom as well as we have a bulky syllabus that is required to be finished within the specified time you know so we have no option except to use lecture so everyone uses lecture me also you also everyone. but we have to see uh, that this lecture is affected by so many factors the lecture that you deliver is affected by so many factors there might be so many diff different things but in my opinion these five factors are most important so I will prefer to start from the first factor as the university culture. And what, what, what do I mean, in fact, by university culture? The university in which you are serving, it is a residential university or it is a affiliating university. So if it is a residential university, usually students live in the hostel. So probability is that their attendance in the classroom will be more, they will be more regular, they will be more punctual, they will be more serious and committed for their career or something like that. And accordingly, you have to prepare your lecture. So your quality of lecture will be better if definitely these things are there uh, in your university as I have mentioned. But if it is an affiliating university, uh, I mean, uh, you are working in some degree college, in some remote area, something like that. So definitely regularity is not there, punctuality is not there. It might happen that today 10 different students are attending your class and tomorrow when you are coming to the class, uh, there are 10 students, but they are, they are, they 10 are, 10 different I mean, from today. So no, such type of things definitely, if you feel that they are not committed to the uh, career, you know, they are not asking any full question. I mean, they are just interested in passing the exam or something like that. So that adversely affect the quality of your lecture. So university culture is the first factor which affects the quality of your lecture. Then academic ability of the student, there is no doubt about it. Better students, serious students, students blessed with high IQ, uh, blessed with good study habit, I and mean, all those things. So somehow it will uh, affect your uh, quality of lecture. Then third factor, resources. So uh, uh, you have a good and well-equipped library, laboratory. Uh, you know, you have Wi-Fi connections. You have desktops, laptops. I mean, all these electricity connection, inverters, I and mean, all those things. If you have. So somehow, I mean, today it is said that physical resources somehow matter so far as lecturing is concerned. Now coming to the fourth factor, and that is teaching skills and attitude. So what are what is this factor? Teaching skills and attitude. Can you help me, my friends? Uh, what what I want to uh, describe through this point? Teaching skills and attitude. Your opinion, my friends. My friends, sir, uh, whether a teacher is uh, uh, enabled with uh, this uh, um, this modern teaching techniques like projector or PPT and all. Okay, okay. Who are you, sir? Sir, I am Rajan Shukla from DS College Arigat from Geology Department. Acha Shukla ji. Okay, okay. Thank you. Any other opinion, my friends? सर मेरा कहना यह हुआ मैं रविश कुमार सिंह आरडी एंड डीजे कॉलेज मुंगेर से कि अच्छा संप्रेषण करने वाला ही अच्छा शिक्षक हो सकता है सर अपनी बातों को जो छात्रों तक अपनी भावनाओं के साथ पहुंचा सके और वो पहुंचा ले जाता है तो आज के विभिन्न माध्यमों से शिक्षा के जुड़े विभिन्न उपकरणों से अपनी बात को सही तरीके से छात्र के भीतर प्रवेश कराया जा सकता है यानी पहुंचाया जा सकता है ओके ओके एनी अदर ओपिनियन एनी थर्ड ओपिनियन Sir, inducing no. the right kind of attitude also. Uh, a yeah. teacher should have the right kind of an attitude, a positive attitude. Uh, he or she may not be able to elicit the desired responses from the students all the time. So that preparedness, that mental preparedness should be there with the teacher. And uh, right. he or she should also be able to prepare the students accordingly no matter how or how weak a student may be or how slow a learner a student may be um, the attitude should always be a positive one uh, he or she should always be able to motivate students to be able to perform better than what he or she is expected to do or is uh, programmed to do so that should help. thank you see 
there are two terms teaching skills and attitude so madam madam just now has very beautifully explained if I will enter the classroom with a positive attitude that I'm going to make the destiny of India in my class. I'm going to produce engineers, doctors, technicians, literary persons, political scientists, sociologists, philosophers, actors, you know, and they themselves will contribute too much to the society. So they can't contribute unless and until I will teach them. So with this attitude, if I'm going to the classroom, definitely my lecture will be better. But if I'm going to the classroom just for the sake of, uh, uh, you know, fear of my principal, for the sake of passing the time, just, I mean, performing a duty, uh, I mean, something like that. So, you know, somehow lecture will not be better. Second point, teaching skills. There are so many skills. How I'm going to introduce my lecture, how I'm writing on the blackboard, how questions I'm asking, how I'm involving my students in my lecture how i'm creating interest among them i mean all those comes under the category of teaching skills and my friends please remember that though we live in in an era where a lot of so sources of knowledge are there but please remember no source can replace a teacher nothing can replace a teacher and to supplement my point to substantiate my point i would like to tell you a very interesting story this story is very motivating this story is related to one of the greatest warriors in the history, Alexander the Great. So, do you know who was the teacher of Alexander the Great, my friends? Arastu. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Aristotle. Arastu. And it is said that uh, since Aristotle was a philosopher, so Aristotle has the knowledge of the world. Uh, he knew where is Arabia, where is Persia, where is India. I don't know. He groomed Alexander and uh, uh, the desire to win over the whole world, uh, it was uh, uh, somehow produced in him by the grooming, by the teaching, by the training of Aristotle. And Alexander paid a lot of respect to Aristotle. So there was one war, in fact, there was one strong country, very big country in Europe, and Alexander wanted to win over that. So with a huge army, Alexander attacked that country. And Alexander himself was a great warrior. And all the great generals and all the great warriors of that time, they all were there in the army of Alexander. And Aristotle was also. So the attack on that country, attack was very intense. So what happened, in fact, Dushman ki jo fawaj thi, wo piche hati gai. Piche hati gai. They flew uh, from the battlefield and finally, they went to the fort, the capital of that country, that was a fort, very strong, fortified capital was, it was. So they went over there and they took refuge in that fort. So that fort was situated near a river bank and that river at that time was flooded. And there was one bridge on that river. So that army, in fact, burnt that bridge and not only they burnt that bridges, Rather, all the um, um, boards and everything uh, they removed from there so that Alexander's army could not cross the river and could not reach to the fort. Now, this was a very difficult situation. Victory will not be completed unless and until that fort is won. And fort can't be won unless and until Alexander's army will cross the river. So, how to cross the river? What is strategies to make to cross the river? In order to do that, Alexander organized a meeting of all of his journals. And Aristotle was also uh, there in that meeting. So after a lot of discussion, it was decided that, OK, someone of us will go to the river, will enter into the water, and will try to know the depth of the, water, depth of the river as well as the flow of the water. The moment we will know the depth of the river as well as the flow of the water, then accordingly we can make some strategy to cross that. This idea was liked by Alexander. But the million dollar question was, who will go to the river? Who will enter into the river? So no one was offering his services. So finally, Aristotle said, okay, Alexander, I will go. 
I will go to the river. I will into the, enter into the water. I will try to know the depth of the river as well as the flow of the water, and then we will make some stage. But he was forbidden by Alexander. Alexander said, "Oh, my great teacher, you don't go to the river. Rather, I will go to the river. I will enter into the water." Then there was an argument between Alexander and Aristotle. That's very historical argument. So Aristotle said, Alexander, you are the commander in chief of this grand army. So if you go to the river, you will enter into the water and you will be drowned. Then your whole army will lose its morale and the great purpose for which we have come will not be served. Listening to it, Alexander said, yes, oh my great teacher. If I will go to the river, I will enter into the water and I will be drowned. And if you will be alive, then in turn you can prepare thousands of Alexanders. But oh my great teacher, if you will go to the river and you will be drowned, then me and my whole army will not be able to prepare one single Aristotle. My friends, my friends, Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen yes, to sir. it. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Sir, बीच बीच में थोड़ा हिंदी भी बोल दिया किसी हिंदी वालों को थोड़ा आसानी हो जाएगी. So this is this was an interesting story, my friends. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. सर इंटरेस्टिंग भी है और ज्ञानवर्धक भी है बहुत ज्ञानवर्धक है बहुत मोटिवेटिंग है मैं अपने जब भी शिक्षा साथियों के बीच में होता हूं तो मैं ये कहानी जरूर सुनाता हूं यस ओके सो प्लीज म्यूट योरसेल्फ नाउ दिस वाज द फोर्थ फैक्टर दैट अफेक्ट्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर लेक्चर दैट आई सेड टीचिंग स्किल्स एंड एटीट्यूड नाउ कमिंग टू द लास्ट फैक्टर कंस्ट्रक्टिविस्ट अप्रोच सो नाउ इट इज इन फैक्ट व्हाट साइकोलॉजिस्ट व्हाट एजुकेशनिस्ट आर सेइंग the teacher and the student should collectively construct the knowledge in the classroom aapke jo students hain aapke jo vidyarthi hain wo bhi gyan rakhte hain aur wo kyun gyan rakhte hain kyunki unka gyan ke shroton tak unki approach hai unki pahunch hai unke samne bahut sari cheeze khuli hui hain wo bahut kuch cheeze dekh rahe hain sun rahe hain so they have the knowledge. and definitely you have the knowledge because you are the teacher so don't think that only you have the knowledge and your your students they don't have anything i mean they are just blank no unke paas kuch bhi nahi hai sahi unke paas bhi kya hai aapke paas kya to aap vidyarthiyon ki madad se gyan ko construct kijiye rachna kijiye gyan ki collectively through your students in the classroom yani unko bhi mauka dijiye bolne ka aap khud bhi kariye aur is tarah se collectively aap aage badhiye so this process is slow इसके जरिए से अगर आप पढ़ाएंगे तो इट विल बी टेकिंग टाइम बट इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन फैक्ट एंड इट विल बी यूटिलाइजिंग द एनर्जी ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ अप्रोच फिफ्थ फैक्टर व्हिच अफेक्ट्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर लेक्चर सो नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कैन यू सी दिस स्लाइड माय फ्रेंड्स यस सर यस सर यस सर यस सर यस सर आप में से कोई एक पढ़े आप में से कोई एक पढ़े इसको अरे पढ़ कैसे सकते हैं सर टीचर कॉन्टेक्स्ट चैनल्स स्टूडेंट्स चैनल स्टूडेंट्स एंड डिस्टोर्टेड मटेरियल रिसीव्ड या प्लीज नोट क्लास सो इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड आई एक्सप्लेन what are the factors that affect the quality of a lecture and those factors were five now through this slide i want to explain the components of a lecture and again these are five components which you can see on the slide so the first component teacher himself or herself second one the content third one channel fourth one is students and fifth one is student material received now see the first component and the fourth component pehle component mein arrows jo hai wo bahar to hai jabki chauthe component mein arrows andar ko hai can you see it 
टीचर जो है वो टीचर अपना ज्ञान दे रहा है और स्टूडेंट में है जो ज्ञान ले रहा है ऐसा मुझे लग रहा है एज ए टीचिंग Arrows are outside in the teacher component that shows that knowledge is flowing from the teacher. And fourth component, students, in fact, knowledge is culminating. See, culminating, वो इकट्ठा हो रहा है सर. So you are the most important component in your lecture. You simply don't teach. you inculcate values you grow personalities students imitate you for so many students you are the role model and if you want you can make a dry subject a rigid subject very interesting or vice versa also agar aap chahe to acche se acche subject ko bilkul kharab kar dein sab ko so let me give you one example other was one of my friend uh, when i joined the college at a very young age in fact Uh, so it would have been in the year 2001 so there was one of my friend who used to teach organic chemistry to undergraduate level uh, so you know he was a very bad teacher very poor teacher very rigid teacher and why i am using the word rigid uh, or poor or bad because he followed a very stereotype so he went to the classroom opened the register Took the attendance, closed the register, and there were so many papers in his pocket. So he used to pick up one paper, went to the board, gave the heading, and then he started writing all those reactions and mechanisms of organic chemistry. So you know, in organic chemistry there are plenty of uh, uh, reactions and mechanisms. So just writing, rubbing, writing, rubbing. I mean, never interacted with the students. Never tried to know whether students are working or not. So it was a very stereotype class, a very traditional, very ubau, very pakau, very thakau, very nirvas class. So on one fine day, the teacher went to the classroom and followed the same routine. That is, opened the register, took the attendance. Closed the register and took one paper out from his pocket. Went to the board and gave the heading methane. And you know the formula of methane is CH4. So methane is a gas. It is not at undergraduate level. Then he started writing the reactions and mechanisms. Physical properties of methane, chemical properties of methane, color, density, boiling point of methane. How methane reacts with chlorine? How methane reacts with fluorine? So, you know, just holding the by hand, me, us kagas ko le karke, aur usse dekhte dekhte, dahine hand se, wo board pe, wo reactions or mechanisms likh rahe the. Then after some uh, two minutes, three minutes, he thought that the remaining reactions and mechanisms I remember. So he thought that there is no need of paper. So he went back to the table aur us table par us paper ko rakh diye. और फिर उसके बाद वो रिएक्शन और मैकेजम को कंप्लीट करने लगे फिर थोड़ी देर बाद उन्हें किसी पॉइंट पे कंफ्यूजन होगा होगा समथिंग लाइक दैट तो उन्होंने सोचा लाओ कागज देखो तो इस बीच में जैसे ही उन्होंने कागज रखा था टेबल पे देर आर सो मेनी नॉट ए स्टूडेंट इन द क्लास रूम सो वन स्टूडेंट केम फॉरवर्ड टुक हिज पेपर एंड रेन अवे and teacher was so engrossed in writing and rubbing that he didn't pay attention that someone has stolen his his paper so when there was some confusion and he thought that let me clarify through my paper so jab wo wapas table ki taraf aaye so he found that my paper is lost so he became very angry he took another paper from his pocket went to the board rubbed everything that he wrote and gave the heading ethe and he said oh you ran away with me then now i am going to teach ethe so he gave the heading ethe and everything was same 
For example, earlier it was color, density, and boiling point of methane. Now it was color, density, and boiling point of methane. Well, it was how methane reacts with chlorine and fluorine. Now it was how ethane reacts with chlorine and fluorine. So everything was same, just the formula instead of CH4 plus CH6. So, I mean, when I came to know about this incident, so I asked that teacher, sir, he ran away with methane, so you started ethane. Now there are so many naughty students in the classroom. So what would have happened if someone would have run away with ethane as well? He said, Dr. Jamal, nothing to worry. Propane and butane are in my coat. My friends, my friends. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. जी सर हम्म उन सर के तरकश में बहुत पीर थे हम्म उन सर के तरकश में बहुत पीर थे माय फ्रेंड्स यस सर हम्म नाउ दिस इंसिडेंट इज क्वाइट ओल्ड 23 इयर्स ओल्ड सो सच टाइप ऑफ टीचर्स सरवाइव टू 23 इयर्स अगो नाउ डू यू थिंक सच टाइप ऑफ टीचर्स विल सरवाइव टुडे माय फ्रेंड्स no, sir. No, sir. Yes. No, sir. So, yeah. Simply, students will not come to your classroom to note down something because they have access. So many good learning material is available. Uh, I mean, there are so many sources. So, when you are not good, you are not interesting, you are not involved, you are not involved in the teaching or learning process, definitely they will not come. So, first component, you as a teacher most important component of a lecture. Now, coming to the second component, content. And I don't have to say much about content because you have studied your content very thoroughly. So, any subject you have studied, you have studied 12 years after 12 class. Then you have studied 3 years in graduation level, 2 years in post-graduation level. So, 12 plus 3, 15 plus 2, 17. And of course, plus three years after research. So 20 years at least, you have studied your content. But there's one difference, my friend. Knowing your content is different and communicating it to others is different. So how to better communicate? Definitely, I'm coming to the next slide. Now come to the third component, channel. So what do you mean by channel, my friends? Your opinion. The medium of communication. Yeah, yeah. Who are you, ma'am? Sir Monali Chatterjee uh, from uh, Rath Rath Rath. Right. In fact, uh, in order to communicate, you use some channel, you use some medium. So that medium might be simply chalk and talk. That medium might be simply, uh, you know, uh, might be PPTs, might be Google Meet platform. I mean, some medium. But there's one thing that's very unfortunate nowadays that I'm saying. People have heavy reliance on their PPTs. And I have heard people saying, when PPT is on, mind is off. And I have seen one person saying, my mind is in my PPT, in my pen drive. So if my pen drive will not be opened, my mind will not be opened. My friends, such type of reliance is not good. So who has made these PPTs? You. It's your content. It's your area. So you know it. So you take the help of PPTs. PPTs should help you, facilitate you. But they should not be replacing you. In the same way, let me give you one example. Suppose I have not come here to deliver the lecture. And I have sent these PPTs to Mr. Mazhar Zaidi. Mr. Zaidi would have sent all these PPTs on your WhatsApp group. Tab kya aap mere lecture ko enjoy karte hai? Bataiye? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Definitely. So, PPTs should help you. Aapko kabhi PPTs replace nahi kar sakti hai. To, utne hi cheezo ko PPTs me rakhiye, jo bhoat important hai, some very important data, some very important figure, some very important facts. But everything keeping on PPTs and making 50, 60 PPTs in your presentation, so I think it's very mechanical. And remember, teaching is not a mechanical process. Teaching is an emotional process and emotional bondage you create with your students through your teaching. 
तो जितना ज्यादा आपका रिलायंस जो पीपीटीज पे होगा वो टीचिंग मैकेनिकल वो टीचिंग जाएगी एंड पीपल विल लूज इंटरेस्ट सो समाउ डोंट हैवली रिलाय ऑन चैनल यू यूज चैनल बट चैनल शुड नॉट यूज कमिंग टू द फोर्थ कंपोनेंट स्टूडेंट्स पुअर स्टूडेंट्स बेचारे स्टूडेंट्स और मैं क्यों कह रहा हूं बेचारे स्टूडेंट्स क्योंकि आप तो एक क्लास डिलीवर करते हैं लेक्चर फिर आ जाते हैं स्टाफ में बैठते हैं चाय पीते हैं पानी पीते हैं अपने साथियों के साथ थोड़ी गपशप करते हैं और आप फ्रेश हो जाते हैं वॉट अबाउट दीज पुअर पीपल वन टीचर विल गो सेकंड टीचर विल कम सेकंड टीचर विल गो थर्ड टीचर विल कम थर्ड टीचर विल गो फोर्थ टीचर विल कम फोर्थ टीचर विल गो एंड फिफ्थ टीचर विल कम यू तो बेचारे मुस्तकिल वो सुनते रहते हैं फ्रॉम टेन टू टू फ्रॉम टेन टू फोर फ्रॉम एट टू ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम एट टू वन समथिंग लाइक एंड सिंस यू आर अटेंडिंग दिस फैकल्टी इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम सो यू विल एग्री विथ मी दैट लिसनिंग इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट मेरे दोस्तों सुनना बहुत मुश्किल काम है है कि नहीं बताइए आपके विद्यार्थी आपको सुन रहे हैं आप सुनने के लायक बनिए दट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ कमिंग टू द लास्ट पॉइंट डिस्टोर्टेड मटेरियल रिसीव अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रा योर अटेंशन ऑन दिस लाइट सेकेंड कंपोनेंट और फिफ्थ कंपोनेंट में फर्क दिख रहा है आपको सेकेंड कंपोनेंट का शेप कैसा है बताइए और फिफ्थ कंपोनेंट का शेप कैसा है देखिए इस दुनिया में कोई ऐसा टीचर नहीं है जो एग्जैक्ट वही कंटेंट आपको पहुंचा दे जो पहुंचाना चाहता है आई मीन नॉट पॉसिबल एट ऑल सो सटन काइंड ऑफ डिस्टोर्शन विल बी देयर इवन इफ वी आर एबल टू कन्वे ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ आवर कंटेंट देन वी आर गुड टीचर आई मीन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर अन एबल टू कन्वे इन ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो सटन काइंड ऑफ डिस्टोर्शन इज देयर You wanted to convey something else, but something else has reached to the student. So, इसको हम कहते हैं distorted material receiving. इस distortion को हम कैसे कम करें? Lecture को कैसे effective बनाएं? Students के लिए हम सुनाने के लायक कैसे बने? All these points we will discuss in the coming slide. But before that, in fact, I want to present a very interesting data, and this data I am quite sure will help you a lot. क्या आप इस स्लाइड को देख पा रहे हैं यस यस सर। सर इन द द लास्ट स्लाइड हाउ वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्टॉर्टेड मटेरियल हैज बीन इंक्रीज पार्डन सर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द डिस्टॉर्टेड मटेरियल हैज बीन इंक्रीज हियर बिकॉज ऑफ सम मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ सम कंफ्यूजन बिकॉज ऑफ सम प्रॉब्लम इन द कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेस तो कुछ का कुछ पहुंचा होगा उनके पास राइट सर या या सी दिस स्लाइड जरा पढ़िए आप में से कोई स्लाइड को एनीवन एट एट द टिप एल सर मतलब लेक्चर फाइव परसेंट आर मीन रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस बाय डूइंग सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड लास्ट बिलो इज टीचिंग अदर्स या प्रेजेंटेशन इज नाइंटी परसेंट राइट दिस इज वन फाइंडिंग समंस माइक इज ओपन प्लीज म्यूट योर सेल्फ सो आई गॉट वन पीएचडी थीसिस फ्रॉम ए वेरी रिक्यूटेड फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटी इन फैक्ट इन दैट थीसिस The researcher is studied retention, and what is retention? By the way, what's your opinion? Retention, क्या चीज है? My friends, sir, we remember whatever we have learned or heard or read. Right, right. So whatever has been taught to you, how much of that you can reproduce 
or recall after a gap of either 24 hours or one week or one month. I mean, that is known as detached. So in this particular study, the researcher studied the retention after 24 hours. So what he did, he divided a class of 50 students in seven different groups. So he kept six students, uh, seven students in six group, and the last group he kept eight students. So the total was 50. Further, he taught the same topic to every group. Sare group mein usne ek hi topic ko padhaya, lekin different method used. Pahle group ko usne lecture se padhaya, dusre group ko padhaya nahi, but unko instruct kiya ki jau library mein phala 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 kitabe dekho. Tisre group mein he used audio visual aid, chauthe group ko demonstration ki madad se padhaya, paathme group mein kuch meaningful discussion ko encourage kiya, initiate kiya, छठे ग्रुप में ही डॉट थ्रू प्रैक्टिस बाय डूइंग और आखिरी ग्रुप में उसने अगेन ही डिडंट टीच रादर ही इंस्ट्रक्टेड द स्टूडेंट्स टू मेक सम पीपीटीज लाइक दैट एंड प्रेजेंट इट बिफोर योर पीयर्स एंड देन ही अप्लाइड सम स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड कैलकुलेटेड द रिटेंशन सो इट विल बी वेरी अमेजिंग फॉर यू to note that lecture was found to be the most poor source of uh, knowledge so far as retention is concerned. Only 5% retention was reported. Even reading was twice as better as lecture in terms of retention because retention in reading group was 10% as compared to 5% in lecture. Similarly, audio visual aid 20%, demonstration 30%, discussion 50%, that is by doing 75% and highest retention was reported in that group in which the researcher instructed the students to make the PPTs and present before their peers. Now this is study of course was conducted at secondary level and very small sample was there but it has a lot of implications for us. My friend, in the beginning I said that we have to deliver the lecture but what this study implicates that supplement your lecture with the rest of the six, sometimes reading, if possible, use audiovisual aids, if possible, use demonstration, if possible, initiate meaningful discussion, if possible, provide the opportunity of practice by doing, or nahito aap group bana dije students ka aur se kahiye ki wo khud padhaye aur ek dusre ke saamne present kare, something like that. So through that, you can reduce the distortion. Jin ki abhi baat hui ki pichle slide mein, jisne ki distorted material received tha, aur distortion ho raha tha, mera bataya tha ki distortion is very natural. So that distortion might be reduced, agar hum apne lecture ko in chhe tariqo se supplement karte hai, not only distortion will be reduced, rather lecture will be more interesting, more better. Ab in baato ke saath aage baatte hai, aur ab baat karte hai, techniques of delivering a good lecture. So seven points I have kept on this slide and I think six or seven on the next slide. These are very small things, but definitely if you give them attention, then your lecture will be good. There is no doubt about it. So first, any one of you, I will request. I will give you one minute of time to all the people. You silently this point इन सारे क्वांट्स को इस स्लाइड को पढ़िए एक मिनट का टाइम है जब पढ़ लीजिएगा तो मुझे बताइएगा फिर मैं आगे बढ़ूंगा सारे लोग पढ़े इसको खामोशी से Done, sir. Who gave? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, first point, method. Why you are in so hurry? You have one whole semester 
you have one whole academic year and you know how much you have to teach you know how many periods you will have accordingly plan so what you do in the month of july when students come they are very slow and you are also very slow so in the month of july august and september you teach only one unit and there are four units in your your syllabus now in the month of october you got the notice that examination will be held at the end of the november or in the beginning of this now you have one month then hurriedly you cover the remaining three units so in three months you have taught one unit but the remaining three units you are teaching in one month i mean that's injustice you might finish but definitely students will not be able to grasp this one thing second thing you know your students their mental level so plan only that much which you can cover in 40 minutes if you will plan less time will be wasted if you plan more hurriedly you will cover but it will not be it will be of no use to us so the moment you are getting the syllabus you see there are four units in every unit there are 10 topics so in total there are 40 topics so you have 90 days it means on average you have to spend two periods on one topic so what you do accordingly plan so this is the first point that's very important cover only that much which might be finished in the stipulated time second point connect the past with present so don't start abruptly don't finish up ekdam se na to shuruaat kar dijiye na ekdam se khatam kar dijiye try to connect with the past it means try to start from there where you finished yesterday wahan se shuruaat kar and if possible give some clue what you are going to do tomorrow so by that way teaching will proceed in any spiral way aaj ka gyan बीते हुए कल से भी कनेक्ट है और आने वाले कल से मोटिवेट द स्टूडेंट्स टू लर्न विथ इंटरेस्ट वॉट इट मीन वही सारी चीजें जो किताब में लिखी है वही सारे फिगर्स जो किताब में बने हैं वही सारे इक्वेशन जो किताब में है सिंपली यू आर डिक्टेटिंग दैट इन द क्लास रूम सो वॉट्स ऑफ यूर योर यूज आप पढ़े लिखे हैं आपके पास इतना ज्ञान है तो एटलीस्ट इंटरप्रेट दो अंडरस्टैंड इन बेटर वे लेट देम अप्लाई दैट नॉलेज इन दर प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ तो अगर आप उनको एप्लीकेशन लेवल पर जोड़ पाएंगे और वो आपकी बातों को सुनेंगे इंटरेस्ट नाउ यूज पिक्चर्स एंड वीडियोस डेफिनेटली नाउ इट इज वी ऑल हैव स्मार्टफोन्स आवर स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो हैव स्मार्टफोन्स सो इफ देयर इज सम इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सम इंटरेस्टिंग पिक्चर सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट और समथिंग लाइक दैट तो आप उसको देख लीजिए अगर आपको लगता है कि ये مناسب है तो यू शेयर द लिंक विद योर स्टूडेंट्स एंड इंस्ट्रक्ट देम टू गो थ्रू दैट तो इससे जो है डेफिनेटली दे विल टीच यू नाउ Point number three is very important again. Instruct the students to note down the important points of the lecture. Uh, definitely, if they will simply listen, it means uh, I mean it's difficult to say whether they are listening or not. But if they have noted down something, it means definitely they have listened. Now coming to point number F and G, and these are the points on which I want to take your opinion. I control and right posture. So what's your opinion about these two? my friends my friends yes, yes sir hmm take control of right posture ka kya matlab hai aap bataiye chatrakji ma'am ravish sir please respond sir sir please communicate or make eye contact with the students i think it should be eye contact as in we try to communicate better by uh, looking at them straight in their eyes and speaking anything else 
कोई और कुछ कहेगा तो लुकिंग एट द स्टूडेंट वेदर दे आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सब्जेक्ट और थीम और नॉट Okay. Yes, exactly this, sir. I mean, when we're looking at their expression, it acts as a signpost. कि कितना दूर हम समझा पाए हैं, समझ रहे हैं, क्लास में हैं कि नहीं हैं. That way. देखिए, I'm a teacher trainer by my profession, and I have seen two type of teachers. One, जो क्लासरूम में किसी एक पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट को सेलेक्ट करते हैं. और उसी पर पूरा ध्यान देते हैं अब उस बच्चे के नाक में बेचारे की खुजली हो रही है तो वो खुजला नहीं पा रहा है क्योंकि टीचर का ध्यान उसकी तरफ अदर हैंड सो मेनी पीपुल तो देर इज ए वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कपलेट इन उर्दू मैं उसको आपके सामने रख रहा हूं फिर मैं उसका मतलब भी बताता हूं कपलेट इज लाइक दिस जिन्हें प्यास है उन्हें कम से कम दो थर्सटी दे आर गेटिंग लेस एंड लेस जिन्हें प्यास है उन्हें कम से कम जो न पी सके उन्हें दम बदम एंड दो Who have already given too much, they are given more. जिन्हें प्यास है उन्हें कम से कम जो न पी सके उन्हें दम बदम मेरे साथ किया तेरे में कदे का निजाम है कि मजाक है साकी कहते हैं उसको जो शराब पिलाता है और मैं कहता उस जगह को कहते हैं जहां पर शराब दी जाए सो दो आर फेड विथ योर आईज आप उनको उन पर देखे जा रहे हैं Or those who want your attention, you are ignoring me. My friends, you got the point? Yes, sir. 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 So, other type of teachers, they continuously move their eyes. Continuously move. Continuously. Who are for tips? Just give an impression that each and every student of your classroom. Is under the purview of your careful eyes. So, a lot of discipline ki problem hai, management ki jo problem hai, a lot of issues hai. Automatically, they fix. Now, coming to the last point, make the right posture in the class. क्या मतलब है इसका? क्या समझे आप लोग इससे? My friends. Sir, हम लोग जब क्लास में होते हैं तब बच्चे हमें सुनते कम है और देखते ज्यादा है तो पॉस्चर करेक्ट होना चाहिए वी शुड स्टैंड डायरेक्ट हमारे हाथ अगर कुछ पेन रखा हो तो पॉकेट्स में नहीं होना चाहिए या तो इस इस तरह से डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग नहीं होना चाहिए कि बच्चों बच्चों का ध्यान हाथों पे जाए हमारे बातों पे जाना चाहिए उन लोगों ने कुछ पेन रखा हो चूरिया नेल पॉलिश वॉट तो उन लोगों का ध्यान कुछ ज्यादा ही उसी पे जाता है अब हम लोगों ने क्या पेन है वो भी उन लोगों को देखना होता है घूरना होता है उससे तो अच्छा है ना कि हम लोग जो बोल रहे हैं या सुना रहे या दिखा रहे वो देखे लेकिन उसी पे ध्यान जाए इस तरह से हमें कुछ करना होता है और कुछ कहेगा इस पे? सर राइट जो बॉडी लैंग्वेज होना चाहिए क्लास में एक रोपर होना चाहिए ताकि कोई अनडिसिप्लिन जैसा ना लगे और बच्चे हमारी बात को ध्यान से सुन सके और वो भी अनुशासन का पालन कर सके टीचर ऐसे होते हैं जो ऐसे स्थिर होके क्लास में खड़े हो जाते एक जगह पर या पोडियम के पास कि अगर उनके सर पे चिड़िया घोसला बना ले तब भी वो हिलेंगे नहीं माय फ्रेंड्स यस यस सर सर खड़े रहते हैं यस दूसरी तरह के वो टीचर्स हैं जो कंटिन्यूसली मूव करते रहते हैं कंटिन्यूसली मूव करते रहते हैं देखिए अगर आप क्लासरूम में कोई चीज एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं एंड सैमटेनियसली यू आर मूविंग एज वेल So it will be bit difficult for the students to concentrate on you. So when you are explaining something, don't move. At that time, 
आप किसी एक ऐसी जगह पर खड़े हो जाओ क्लासरूम में फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन सी एवरी वन एंड एवरी वन कैन सी यू एंड यू एक्सप्लेन द मोमेंट एक्सप्लेनेशन इज ओवर यू हैव रिटर्न समथिंग ऑन द बोर्ड एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर नोटिंग डाउन और यू हैव आस्क सम क्वेश्चन एंड एंड दे आर थिंकिंग ओवर इट तो उस टाइम में आप मूवमेंट भी कर सकते हैं तो यू हैव टू एडॉप्ट मिडिल पाथ सो फार एज आई कंट्रोल इज कंसर्न एंड सो फार एज आई राइट क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्न सो दीस सेवन पॉइंट्स इन माय ओपिनियन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे विल मेक योर लेक्चर बेटर इफ यू विल फोकस ऑन दैट बिसाइड्स अ फ्यू मोर पॉइंट्स आई थिंक या दीस सिक्स पॉइंट्स आर देयर तो इनकी भी बात कर लेता हूं आई एम क्वाइट श्योर कि इट विल हेल्प यू अब अगेन आई विल गिव यू वन मिनट्स टाइम आप साइलेंटली इन सारे छह पॉइंट्स को पढ़िए और जब पढ़ लें तो मुझे बताएं फिर उस बात में एक्सप्लेन करता हूं सो प्लीज रीड इट सर हो गया सर हो गया सर हो गया हाँ ओके 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 डॉक्टर समोन स्माइल इज ओपन प्लीज गोट या पहला पॉइंट देखिए यूज एप्रोप्रिएट जेस्टर्स व्हाट डज इट मीन आप मुझे बताइए सर बॉडी लैंग्वेज शुड बी प्रॉपर इफ वी आर यूजिंग आर हैंड्स टू टेल देम और टू एक्सप्लेन समथिंग इट शुड बी इन मॉडरेट वे नॉट टू मच एक्सरेशन ऑफ द थिंग्स नॉट टू लेस इफ इफ वी आर टीचिंग लाइक अ रोबोट इट विल नॉट बी गुड फॉर अस एंड फॉर स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो so we should uh, we should perform in a right way okay okay please mute your your sentiment uh, can you see me kya aapko mera chehra dikh raha hai yes sir 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 mute kar lijiye mute kar lijiye aur meri taraf gaur se dekhiye please look at me carefully So there was one teacher of geography. He was teaching. Himalaya is a big mountain. Big mountain. Himalaya is a big mountain. And the teacher of biology. He was teaching biology in the classroom. So he was explaining, dear students, in the summers when we sweat, जब गर्मियों में हमें पसीना होता है. तो हमारे शरीर पर बहुत छोटे छोटे बहुत छोटे छोटे माइन्यूट बैक्टीरिया आर प्रोड्यूस्ड माय फ्रेंड्स माय फ्रेंड्स आपने मेरे जस्टर देखे यस सर यस सर छोटे बड़े हाँ अब आप ये बताइए कि बच्चे ने हिमालय को तो ये समझा और बैक्टीरिया को क्या समझा ये सो दे आर most attentive towards your gestures in comparison to your words to is wajah se aapki jo body language honi chahiye jaisa ki madam ne abhi kaha tha that should be very balanced to bilkul gesture na ho ekdam robot ki tarah khade ho to again i mean not advisable but bahut zyada gesture kare khali pili ka unnecessary ka so i mean that again is not very good so you have to adopt a middle path whether it is eye control whether it is posture whether it is gesture now coming to the point number i make effective use of voice to kya aap meri voice ko meri aawaz ko effective paate hain my friends yes yes sir Yes sir. 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 Yes sir.
Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. You are emphasizing on the word which are uh, needed. Yes. Okay. You complain that when you deliver the lecture, your students sleep. Someone's mic is open. Ravindra ji, please mute kare. Aja, please mute kare ji. I'm mujhe actually yaha screen pe sirf mera meri slide dikh rahi hai. Kisi ka naam nahi raha. Okay. So please mute kare. So, uh, yeah, you complain that uh, you deliver the lecture and your students sleep. Why they sleep? Why do they sleep? They sleep that when you deliver a lecture in one way, then after 12 to 13 minutes, baad, your lecture becomes a lullaby. Your lecture becomes a lullaby. It feels like a lullaby and they listen to a lullaby. They sleep that they sleep. अगर आप अपनी आवाज में जैसा कि मैडम ने अभी कहा मॉड्यूलेशन लाए इंटोनेशन चेंज योर पिच समटाइम्स इवन क्रिएट परपसफुल पास आई मीन ऑल दीज थिंग्स तो उससे आप अपने लेक्चर को बेहतर बना सकते हैं प्लीज बिलीव मी माय फ्रेंड्स दो वी आर लिविंग इन द इंफॉर्मेशन एज एंड वी हैव प्रोग्रेस्ड ए लॉट स्टिल इन सो मेनी कॉलेजेस एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज इवन Today we have only two sources. One is our bias to communicate, and another one is the blackboard uh, through which we write. So today we have only these two basic sources. So if we use our voice properly, then definitely our lecture will be good. Now, point number J: Encourage interaction with the students, and the best way to interact with your students is through questions. Through questions, I can encourage them to ask the question. If they are not asking the question, you ask your question through that. Definitely, interaction will be made. Point number K and point number L already I have explained, so there is no need to explain. Now coming to the last point, that is M. Evaluate the understanding of the students directly. So it's my opinion, my friends. Whenever you go and you are starting your lecture, start inductively. So what does it mean? You take one example, second example, third example, fourth example, fourth example, and then you come to some conclusion. This is induction. The reverse of this is deduction. So you directly tell them the rule, and then you ask them to take various examples to prove that rule. This is known as deduction. So what I'm instructing, you start your lecture inductively and finish the lecture deductively through this you'll be able to check the understanding of your students how much they have understood you so seven points in the previous slide and six points on this slide these 13 points i think will be sufficient if you will pay attention on these uh, these are very small things but i'm quite sure they have the potential to make your lecture better मेरे ख्याल से तीन स्लाइड्स और मेरे पास हैं जिनमें की कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स मेंशन है मैं उनको डिस्कस करता हूं एंड देन आई विल से गुड बाय टू यू सो कम टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सप्लीमेंट योर लेक्चर विथ ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग कोऑपरेटिव लर्निंग ओईआरस ब्लेंडेड अप्रोच ऑफ लर्निंग दीस आर फोर एंड देन सी माइंड मैप Active learning, then Z2A technique, and finally shape. So let's first discuss the four point, these four, and then the next four, which I have been mentioned on the next slide. Brainstorming, kya hai? By the way, what's your opinion? Inviting responses from various students. Mm. Okay. Anything else? To ask opinions hmm? on a particular topic. To ask for opinions on a particular topic. Okay. So some type of challenging questions like that. Okay. Okay. So thoughts that come suddenly and in an unorganized manner. Okay. Okay. Before that, you give answer of one of my questions. Do you think that we all have been blessed with problem solving ability? Yes. Yes, sir. Definitely. Hum sab ke andar 
problem solving ability hai there is no doubt about only thing is that some of us are very quick in solving the problem some of us are in panic dar jate hain ghabra jate hain chaos ho jata hai but we all have been blessed with some problem solving ability and before explaining the, the brain story and just telling you one story related to the problem solving ability this story is an is of an ias or officer this story is very interesting very motivating uh, and after completing this story then i will be completing all the remaining four points that have been there on the slide there is one ias officer in our country very very dynamic very active and he had the distinction of working with five prime ministers of the country and there is no important union ministry in which he has not served his name is musa raza so he was a gujarat cadet ias officer uh, definitely he retired in 1995 and after retirement he settled in chennai and in chennai he runs a lot of educational institution so in one of the programs in one of his education institution he invited me as a chief guest and there i was told this story to jab bhi mujhe aisa mauka milta hai ki main kisi bahut badi personality se milta hu to main usse koi ek bahut interesting baat puchta hu uske jeevan ki bahut sari ghatnaye jo hui hai aisi ghatna jo bahut remarkable rahi ho bahut important rahi ho to usse main puchta to musa raza sahab ke bare mein maine kafi kuch sun rakha tha pehle se तो मैंने सोचा था कि जब भी मैं उनसे मिलूंगा तो मैं उनसे पूछूंगा कि सर एज एन आई एस ऑफिसर डेफिनेटलीफिसर हर दिन कोई ना कोई प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करता है लेकिन क्या आपने कोई ऐसी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की है विच हैज बीन इन वेरी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन वेरी डिफिकल्टिस प्रॉब्लम विच आई सॉल्व अंडर वेरी डिफिकल्ट सर्कमस्टांस So I said, okay, sir, please tell. So he said, uh, I joined IAS at a very young age, and I was given the Gujarat cadet. And my first posting was as a collector of Surat district of Gujarat. So you know, Surat is situated near the river Tapi. So he said, professor, each and everything was normal in the city. on 28th of july 1968 so i went to the bed i retired and i slept so around 11 in the night so so at 5 i got a violent knock at my door someone was knocking very violently at my door bedroom door so i opened the door and i saw my secretary is there so i became very angry and i said why you are knocking so violently what has happened he said sir whole city is flooded my friends yes sir ha kya kaha musa raza ke secretary ne musa raza se bataiye क्या कहा कलेक्टर सर सो आई थॉट दैट यू शुड बी वोकन अप टू डू दिंग Now it was in a difficult situation. I'm talking about 1968 when there were no ATMs, when there were no uh, advanced channels of communications and transportations. I mean nothing was there. So it was very difficult situation for Musa. 
but in fact in fact these is officers are trained to solve the problems so he immediately thought to work on the embankment of the river nadi ke kinare jo baand bane hote hain unhone socha ki in baand pe kaam karte hain kahi kahi se kholte hain inko to jab hum is baand ko kholenge to kya hoga ki nadi ka pani bahar nikal jayega and then the water of the street and roads of surat will come to the river and situation will get normalized they exactly did it and within 5 to 6 days that problem was solved flood problem was solved but another problem was arised and that problem was related to law and order problem and what was that problem when people slept in that fateful night they didn't store enough things to eat i mean uh, they didn't have enough food grains they didn't have enough cereals I and mean, all those things so ghar mein jo kuch unke paas rakha tha wo unhone khaya usko khatam kar diya ab they were hungry they wanted to eat something things were there in the market but the problem was that there was no money paisa nahi tha unke paas so immediately musa raza summoned all the bank managers of the of the city and instructed them to open the bank bank kholo bhai aur paisa do logo with a folded hand all the manager said sir we can't make the bank function kyunki puri currency bheeg gayi hai sare note bheeg gaye hain mera pura ledger bheeg gaya hai accounts ke details sab bheeg gaye hain kagaz it's not possible for us to make the bank functional in one week तो हम इसको धूप में सुखाएंगे सब कुछ तब जाके कहीं एक हफ्ते के बाद ये प्रॉब्लम यानी बैंक हम ओपन कर पाए नाउ इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन सो विद अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी ही ट्राइड टू कांटेक्ट विद हिज सीनियर ऑफिसर्स बट ऑल ऑफ देम सेड मुसा रजा एट दिस जंक्शन ऑफ टाइम वी कांट हेल्प यू बट व्हाटएवर द डिसीजन यू विल टेक डेफिनेटली विल सपोर्ट यू सो इन दो सरकमस्टेंसेस मुसा रजा टुक अ वेरी रिस्की डिसीजन एंड आई थिंक only people of such caliber like musa raza can take such a risky decision so musa raza said to his secretary don't create chaos don't create panic bring a four size papers and bring so many scissors so many papers and so many scissors and bring so many people before me and that instructed them to cut the a4 size is paper in the shape of notes to us time mein char notes chalne the ek rupaye ka chhota note do rupaye ka thoda bada note panch rupaye ka thoda aur bada das rupaye ka thoda aur bada us tarah se dekha ki exactly is in noton ko is kagaz ko un noton ki shakal mein kaat kuch kagzon ko ek rupaye ki shakal mein kuch ko do rupaye ki shakal mein kuch ko panch rupaye ki shakal mein kuch ko das rupaye ki shakal and make the piles all on piles par stamp kar so on the some piles one was stamped on some pile kisi dusri dheri pe do ki mohar lagayi gayi tisri dheri pe panch ki mohar lagayi gayi chauthi dheri pe 10 ki mohar and musa raza said i will sign on each piece of paper and my sign will ensure that it is not a piece of paper rather it's a currency logo se kaha bhai dekho panic mat karo ration card le kar ke collector office aa jao tum mein se har kisi ko 10 10 rupaye diye jayenge 10 rupees not actual rather fake currency which was created at collector's office to tum sabko 10 10 rupaye diye jayenge ye jo yahan par banaye gaye hain collector you take it देर बी ए रजिस्टर उस रजिस्टर में हम तुम्हारा नाम और पता लिखेंगे तुम्हें दस रुपए देंगे तुम जाओ सामान खरीदो लेकिन जब बैंक फंक्शनल हो जाएंगे तो तुम बैंक से ईमानदारी से पैसे निकाल करके दस रुपए एक्चुअल वाले यहां पर ला करके कलेक्टर ऑफिस में जमा कर इंस्ट्रक्टर द शॉपकीपर की हु सो एवर बियर दिस करेंसी विथ माई सिग्नेचर इन हिज हैंड You have to exchange the goods in return after. If you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after, if you have to exchange the goods in return after
you keep on collecting all these fake currencies and when after two three four or five days you will get the invitation from the collector office you come to the collector office with all these fake currencies at the collector office your fake currencies will be exchanged by the actual currencies my friends my friends yes yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir मौका देते हैं किसी इशू पर किसी चैलेंज पर किसी समस्या पर सोचने का तो नॉर्मल क्लासरूम में चूंकि माहौल फॉर्मल होता है इसमें से बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स जवाब नहीं देना चाहते जाते हैं वो लेकिन बोलना नहीं चाहते लेकिन वेद स्टॉर्मिंग में चूंकि माहौल इनफॉर्मल होता है तो स्नाइस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू 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 रिस्पॉन्ड तो कभी कभार कभी कभार एवरी डे इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू कंडक्ट वेद स्टॉर्मिंग इन योर क्लास में लेकिन कभी कभार आप पंद्रह दिन में एक महीने में दो महीने में कभी कभार कर लिया कीजिए तो थ्रू ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग योर मोनोटोनी ऑफ द लेक्चर विल बी रिमेस्ट नाउ कम टू द सेकंड पॉइंट कॉपरेटिव लर्निंग मेक ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स सच दैट in every group there are some bright students some average students one or two poor students assign them some some task like making some model making some project writing some assignment or writing some term paper or analyzing some policy or doing some case study something like that to isse aapas mein jab wo cooperate karte hain to kaafi kuch seekhte hain aur aapka jo burden hota hai lecture ka wo bhi unke upar se reduce hota hai now coming to the third oers open educational resources these are such type of resources which are available on internet and to access these resources you are not required to pay lekin aap pehle inko dekh lijiye kya inka content acha hai satisfactory hai isme jo gyan diya ja raha hai wo authentic hai and lucid hai padhne mein aa raha hai samajh mein aa raha hai intelligible hai understandable hai तो आप उसको पढ़ लीजिए और उसका लिंक जो अपने स्टूडेंट्स को भी शेयर कर दीजिए बहुत अच्छी बात है बट फर्स्ट यू गो थ्रू एंड देन यू इंस्ट्रक्ट योर स्टूडेंट्स टू डू चौथा पॉइंट है ब्लेंडेड अप्रोच ऑफ लर्निंग ब्लेंडेड अप्रोच ऑफ लर्निंग मीन्स ए मिक्स अप्रोच ऑफ लर्निंग समथिंग इन द ऑनलाइन समथिंग इन द ऑफलाइन सो नाउ इट इज यूजीसी ऑल्सो हैज इशूड ए कॉन्सेप्ट पेपर फोकसिंग ऑन ब्लेंडेड अप्रोच ऑफ लर्निंग तो मुझे लगता है कि आने वाले दिनों में हमें ब्लेंडेड अप्रोच को अपनाना पड़ेगा सो बी रिटिन फॉर दिस नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आप ये पॉइंट्स चारों देख पा रहे हैं यस 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 सर 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 क्या क्या है पढ़िए माइंड मैप Active, active learning, head to head technique, shape technique. Right, right. Let me hurriedly. I think uh, 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 still we have uh, six, six to seven minutes, so let me hurriedly cover these points. Mind map. Mind map का ये मतलब होता है. आप कोई स्केच बनाइए, कोई फ्लो चार्ट बनाइए. ब्लैक बोर्ड की आपकी राइटिंग इतनी दमदार हो या आपकी वॉयस इतनी अच्छी हो कि जब बच्चे सुने आपकी बातों को तो उसमें माइंड में में पिक्चर क्रिएट हो जाए लेट मी गिव यू वन एग्जांपल जस्ट नाउ आई वाज टेलिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ मूसा रजा तो शहर में किस तरह से बाढ़ आई थी और कैसे नोटों को क्रिएट किया गया होगा कैसे करेंसी को एक्सचेंज किया गया होगा तो जब मैं बयान कर रहा था जब मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रहा था तो कुछ आप yes, कर पा रहे थे yes, yes, hmm. so, mind, इतना दमदार आपका प्रेजेंटेशन हो आइडर थ्रू योर वर्ड्स और थ्रू योर राइटिंग और थ्रू सम स्केच और थ्रू सम वीडियो और थ्रू सम फिगर्स और थ्रू सम फ्लो चार्ट कि दिमाग में बात उतरती चली जाए Now coming to the next point, active learning. एक बात बताइए क्या आप मेरे इस सेशन में एक्टिव थे yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
इंट्रेक्शन के कारण से आप मेरे सेशन में एक्टिव थे इसलिए कि मैं एक्टिव था इज एक्टिव माई फ्रेंड्स यस सर एग्जैक्टली सर देखिए अगर मैं आता और सिंपली पीपीटी को पढ़ते हुए चला जाता तो आप भी अपना कैमरा बंद कर देते अपना माइक बंद कर देते किचन में चले जाते कहीं और चले जाते कहीं और चले जाते बट आई डिडेंट बीच बीच में मैंने आपको इंस्ट्रक्ट किया कि स्लाइड पढ़िए आपको इंस्ट्रक्ट किया साइलेंटली पढ़िए आपको इंस्ट्रक्ट किया लाउडली पढ़िए आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा आपकी ओपिनियन लिया आपके ऑब्जर्वेशन देखे सो माई डेट वे आई नीड यू एक्टिव सो प्लीज इंश्योर एक्टिव लर्निंग अगर बच्चे एक्टिव होंगे आप तो एक्टिव है ही देर इज नो डाउट बट अगर बच्चे एक्टिव नहीं है तो नथिंग विल बी अचीव बच्चों को स्टूडेंट्स को एक्टिव बनाएंगे तो योर लेक्चर विल बी इंटरेस्ट थर्ड पॉइंट जेड टू ए टेक्निक जेड टू ए टेक्निक का क्या मतलब है आप क्लासरूम में जाते हैं कोई थियोरी पढ़ाते हैं फिर एग्जाम्पल लेकर के उसको प्रूव करते हैं और फिर बाद में उसका एप्लीकेशन बताते हैं सो डू रिवर्स जाते ही पहले आप एप्लीकेशन किसी थियोरी का बता दें और फिर उसके बाद तब एग्जाम्पल लीजिए और लास्ट में थियोरी बताइए इंसान की फितरत में है उसके नेचर में है कि जब किसी चीज की उपयोगिता जान जाता है तो फिर उसको सीखने की कोशिश करता है इस Is known as यानी you have reversed the process of traditional teaching. But remember, if every day you will use Z to A technique, it will be as monotonous, as boring as A to Z. So you follow A to Z. कभी कभी बीच में Z to A ही follow कीजिए. Your lecture will be interesting. And the last point, shape. Shape includes five things in itself. और ये इस स्लाइड के माध्यम से आप देख सकते हैं देख पा रहे हैं यस सर यस सर यस सर सो एस स्टैंड फॉर स्टोर एच स्टैंड फॉर एक्टिविटी स्टैंड फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन स्टाइल एंड लास्ट ई स्टैंड फॉर एग्जाम इन पांचों पर फोकस स्टोरी सुनाइए लेकिन स्टोरी स्टोरी सुनाने के लिए मत सुनाइए स्टोरीज Try to contextualize with your content. आपके इस सेशन में मैंने आपको दो तीन कहानियां सुनाई लेकिन उन सारी कहानियों का जो कंटेंट में बताना चाहता था उससे रिश्ता था उसे भी देखते हैं स्टोरीज को अपने कंटेंट के साथ कंटेक्चुलाइज कीजिए दो स्टोरीज माई डी फ्रॉम गीता फ्रॉम लेकिन जरूरत इस बात की है कि जो कंटेंट आप पढ़ा रहे हैं उसके साथ उस मैच कीजिए उसकी स्टोरी को डेफिनेटली होती है तो एक्टिविटीज को कीजिए एक्टिविटीज से भी चीजों में काफी दम आता है और काफी आपके बहुत बात जो है वो सबसे सब्सिएट होती है योर यूनिक प्रेजेंटेशन स्टाइल देर इज नो फार्मूला दैट व्हाट इज द यूनिक प्रेजेंटेशन स्टाइल इट्स अप टू यू आप कैसे शुरुआत करते हैं आप क्वेश्चन आंसर से शुरुआत करते हैं आप किसी कपलेट से शुरुआत करते हैं आप किसी कहानी से शुरुआत आई मीन इट्स अप टू यू डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ योर एक्सप्रेशन फाइनली एग्जाम give the meaning to the examples while delivering the lecture i'm quite sure your lecture will be good so with this i would like to put an end to my lecture. so thank you very much my friends for listening to presentation thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir have a nice day sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. One minute, one minute, my friend. Uh huh. Ah. Not in time.
Right. So uh, I'm opening the house for question and answer. So if you want to ask anything, please ask. Sir, may I ask you? Sure, sure, sure. Sir, uh, since the topic was assessment and evaluation, and you concentrated on teacher techniques, uh, could you uh, sort of relate that to teach uh, assessment and evaluation in some way? That when uh, I used to take, yeah, yeah, one minute, one minute, uh, I'm coming to your point. Uh, yeah, uh, so how uh, they do it? What, oh, one minute, one minute. Yeah. So stop presenting. I mean, I it's not working. Perhaps mouse is not one minute, man. Sure, sir. Yeah, there's some problem with the mouse. Uh yeah. Uh uh one minute, please, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so who are asking the question? Sir, I am Monali Chatterjee. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, they have two sessions for me. Uh, one is teaching technique and second one is assessment and evaluation. So somehow they planned this of my lecture earlier. And assessment and evaluation was planned for today. But it doesn't look nice to me that first I am teaching the assessment and then I am teaching the teaching technique. So I thought that first it should be teaching technique. And hopefully tomorrow uh, I'll be having another session on assessment and evaluation. Equally good as it is today. Definitely it will be very interesting. I'm watching. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So or kisi ko kuch puchna hai? Koi kuch karna chahta hai ya koi kuch share karna chahta hai? Ranjijay ji, kuch karna chahte hai? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Or Kuch? Anybody else? No, sir. Thank you, sir. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Kisi ko kuch share karna hai? No, sir. Okay. So, no, sir. It was complete package no, sir, uh, for enhancing the teaching skills. One minute. One minute. One by one. Ji, SBC. Sir, sir, boliye. मेरा सवाल था सर जब हम लोग क्लास में जाते हैं जी स्टूडेंट ऐसे ऐसे भी मिलते हैं जो स्टोरी में भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं रहता है ऐसा लगता है वो प्रेशर में है अट्रैक्शन नहीं आ पाता है सर उसके अंदर Sir, you are on mute. 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 Sir, you See, there are some students who are introvert, but extremely intro, introverted students are very few in that. By and large, we have average type of people in the class. So such type of students need your personal attention. Classroom may to shaipo respond nahi karenge ya suna nahi chayenge. They might suffer some from some problem differently. So aap unko alag se bula karke, thoda sa unko motivate kijiye. Or then you try to involve them in your lecture. So I think that it will take its own time. But you have to individualize attention since that. Right? Yes. 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 You found my lecture interesting and informative? 
थैंक यू सर Oh.